the light of the house by louise imogen guinea read for LibriVox.org by bruce Kachuk. beyond the cheat of time here where you died you live you pace the garden walks secure and sensitive you linger on the stair love's lonely pulses leap the harpsichord is shaken the dogs look up from sleep years after and years after you keep your heirdom still your winning youth about you your joyous force and skill unvexed unapprehended with waking sense adored and still the house is happy that hath so dear a lord to every quiet inmate strong in the cheer you brought your name is as a spell midway of speech and thought and unto whoso knocks an awestruck visitor the sunshine that was you floods all the open door end of poem this recording is in the public domain a last word on shelley by louise imogen guinea read for LibriVox.org by bruce Gachuk. each ninth hierarchal wave a league of sound to phantom shreds the hostile crags confound to wreck on wreck forlorn the crags remain smile at the storm for our safe poet's sake not ever this ordained world shall break that mounting foolish foam-bright heart again end of poem this recording is in the public domain immunity by louise imogen guinea Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Leaf of the deep-leaved holly tree, Long spared the weather god's disdain, Have not thy brothers born for thee, June's inavertible raging rain, And they are beautiful and hail, Those sun-veined revelers and thou still crippled still afraid and pale sole discord of the singing bough end of poem this recording is in the public domain paula's epitaph by louise imogen guinea Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Go you by with gentle tread. This was Paula, who is dead. Eyes dark lustrous to the look, As a leaf pavilioned brook. Voice upon the ear to cling, Sweeter than the cithern string, Whose shy spirit unaware loosed into refreshful air with it took for talisman climbing past the starry van names to which the heavens do ope candor chastity and hope end of poem this recording is in the public domain john brown a paradox by louise imogen guinea read for LibriVox.org by bruce Kachuk. compassionate eyes had our brave john brown and a craggy stern forehead a militant frown he the storm bow of peace give him volley on volley the fool who redeemed us once of our folly 
and the smiter that healed us our right john brown too vehement verily was john brown for waiting is statesmanlike his the renown of the holy rash arm the equiver and starter of freed men ay call him fanatic and martyr he can carry both halos our plain john brown a scandalous stumbling block was john brown and a jeer but ah soon from the terrified town in his bleeding track made over hilltop and hollow wise armies and councils were eager to follow and the children's lips chanted our lost john brown star led for us stumbled and groped john brown star led in the awful morasses to drown and the trumpet that rang for a nation's upheaval from the thought that was just through the deed that was evil was blown with the breath of this dumb john brown bared heads and a pledge unto mad john brown now the curse is allayed now the dragon is down now we see clear enough looking back at the onset christianity's flood tide and chivalry's sunset in the old broken heart of our hanged john brown End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. April Desire by Louise Imogen Guinea. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. While in these spacious fields is my sojourn, needs must i bless the blossomy outbreak of earth's pent beauty and for old love's sake trembling the bees on coming chant discern hail the rash hyacinth the ambushed fern high bannered boughs that green defiance make and watch from sheathing ice the brave spring take her broad bright river blade ah then in turn long hushed forces stir in me i feel all the most sharp unrest of the young year fain would my spirit too like idling steel be snatched from its dull scabbard for a strife with cold oppressions straightway if not here in consummated freedom ampler life end of poem this recording is in the public domain twofold service by louise imogen guinea read for LibriVox.org by bruce Kachuk champions of men with brawny fist and lung you righteous with eyes oped and utterance terse whose greed of energies would fain disperse ere any mould be cast or roundel sung your gentler brothers still at play among the smirch and jangle of the universe mere fool blind trespassers for you to curse the sabbath breakers the unchristened young peace these too know these are as ye employed nor of laborious help and value void living who faithful to their fellows need fling life away for truth art fatherland like a gold largesse from a princely hand without one trading thought of heavenly mead end of poem this recording is in the public domain
in the gymnasium by louise imogen guinea read for librivox.org by bruce Gachuk. i lean against a pillar in the sun the sandals loose on mine arrested feet while from their paths orbicular the fleet slim racers drop like stars o loveliest one lender of sixfold wings the while i run whose tortoise lyre saves yet for me its sweet selenic suasions old to thy dim seat glory and grace the votive rites are done thy sole rememberer honey hath nor palm libation none nor lamb to lead to thee ah maya's son once god and once i living here stood thy shrine here chants my heart in calm sad as the central most weird waves at sea hermes thy last june paean and thanksgiving End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Salutation by Louise Imogen Guinea. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Gachuk. High hearted Surrey, I do love your ways. Venturous, frank, romantic, vehement all with inviolate honor sealed and blent to the axe edge that cleft your soldier bays i love your youth your friendships whims and phrase your strict sweet verse with its imperious bent heard as in dreams from some old harper's tent and stirring in the listener's brain for days good father poet if to-night there be at framlingham none save the north wind's sighs no guard but moonlight's crossed and trailing spears smile yet upon the pilgrim named like me close at your gates whose fond and weary eyes sought not one other down three hundred years End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. At a Symphony by Louise Imogen Guinea. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Oh, I would have these tongues oracular dip into silence, tease no more, let be they madden like some coral of the free gusty and sweet against a prison bar to earth the boast that her gold empires are the menace of delicious death to me great undesign strong as by god's decree piercing the heart with beauty from afar music too winning to the sense forlorn of what angelic lineage was she born bred in what rapture these her sires and friends censure denial gloom and hunger's throw praised be the spirit that through thee schubert so rests evil unto holy heavenly ends End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Sleep by Louise Imogen Guinea. Read for LibriVox.org by Phil Schampf. O glorious tide, O hospitable tide, on whose moon heating breast my head hath lain lest i all eased of wounds and washed of stain through holy hours be yet unsatisfied loose me betimes 
for in my soul abide urgings of memory and exile's pain weighs on me as the spirit of one slain may throb for the old strife wherein he died often and evermore across the sea of dark and dreams to fatherlands of day o oh, speed me like that outworn king erewhile from kind phaesia shoreward borne for me thy loving healed greek thou too shall lay beneath the olive boughs of mine own isle end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Atoning Yesterday by Louis Imogen Guinea Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia The Atoning Yesterday Ye daffodilian days, whose fallen towers Shielded our paradisal prime from ill, Fair past, fair motherhood, let come what will, We, being yours, defy the anarch powers for us the happy tidings fell in showers and jewelling the wind from every hill we drained the sun against the winter's chill our ways were barricadoed in with flowers and if from skyey minsters now unhoused earth's massy workings at the forge we hear the black roll of the congregated sea and war's live hoof oh yet last year last year we were the lark lulled shepherdlings that drowsed grave deep at noon in grass of arcady end of poem this recording is in the public domain russia under the tsars by louise imogen guinea read for librivox dot org by sonia russia under the tsars of thraldom and the accursed diadem in that vast snowland shout the passionate tale touch greybeards in the mart bid braggarts quail and rouse the student lone from his old phlegm to breathe the self-same sacred air with them spirits supreme our brothers whose avail is sacrifice nay make no woman's wail rome is reborn whom kings dare not contemn on neva's shore street though high blood be spent there this lorn world's renascent hopes are meeting in camp is musius at the bridge horatius regulus walks in gyves magnificent and thence men hear o oh, sound sublime and gracious the unquelled heart of caesar's brutus beating end of poem this recording is in the public domain four sonnets from la vita nuova by louise imogen guinea read for librivox dot org by sonia four sonnets from la vita nuova one io mi senti svegliar dentro al cuore within my bosom from long apathy love's mood of tenderness extreme awoke and spying him far off mine eye bespoke love's self so joyous scarce it seemed he crying now verily pay thy vows to me and bright through every word his smile outbroke then stood we twain i in my liege lord's yoke watching the path he came by soon to see the lady joan and lady beatrice nearing our very nook each marvel close following her peer all beauty else above and love said in a voice like memories the first is spring but she that with her goes my counterpart bears my own name of love two tanto gentile e tanto onesta pare so chaste so noble looks that lady mine saluting on her way that tongues of some are mute a tremble and the eyes that clomb high as her eyes abashed 
their gaze decline through perils of hurt praise she moves benign armoured in her own meekness as if come hither from heaven to give our christendom even of a miracle the vouch divine so with beholders doth her worth avail it sheds through sight a sweetness on the soul alas how told to one that felt it never and from her presence seemeth to exhale a breath half solace and of love the whole that saith to the bowed spirit sigh forever three era venuta nella mente mia there came upon my mind remembrances of my lost lady who for her reward is now set safe by heaven's most highest lord in kingdoms of the meek where mary is and love whose own are her dear memories called to the sighs in my heart's wreckage stored go whereby outwardly with one accord not having ever other vent than this plaining athwart my breast they flock to air with speech that oft recalled draws unaware the darkened tears into my mournful eyes and those that came in greatest anguished sense sang o most glorious intelligence thou art one year this day in paradise four de peregrini che pensosi andante ye pilgrims who with pensive aspect go thinking perhaps of bygone things and dear come you from lands so far from here as unto us who watch your port would show for that you weep not outright filing slow through the mid-highway of this city drear you even as gentle stranger folk appear who of the common sorrow nothing know would you but linger would you but be told pledge with its thousand sighs my soul doth give that you likewise should travel on heart-broken ah we have lost our beatrice behold what least soever word be of her spoken the tears must follow now from all that live end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of the white sail by louise imogen guinea